Financial regulation is a form of regulation or supervision, which subjects financial institutions to certain requirements, restrictions and guidelines, aiming to maintain the integrity of the financial system. This may be handled by either a government or non-government organization. Financial regulation has also influenced the structure of banking sectors by increasing the variety of financial products available. Financial regulation forms one of three legal categories which constitutes the content of financial law, the other two being market practices, case law. History In the early modern period, the Dutch were the pioneers in financial regulation. The first recorded ban regulation on short selling was enacted by the Dutch authorities as early as 1610. Topic: <laughs> Aims of regulation. The objectives of financial regulators are usually market confidence to maintain confidence in the financial system financial stability contributing to the protection and enhancement of stability of the financial system consumer protection securing the appropriate degree of protection for consumers topic <laughs> structure of supervision acts empower organizations government or non-government to monitor activities and enforce actions there are various setups and combinations in place for the financial regulatory structure around the globe. Topic: <inaudible> Supervision of stock exchanges. Exchange acts ensure that trading on the exchanges is conducted in a proper manner. Most prominent the pricing process, execution and settlement of trades, direct and efficient trade monitoring. Topic: Supervision of listed companies Financial regulators ensure that listed companies and market participants comply with various regulations under the Trading Acts. The Trading Acts demands that listed companies publish regular financial reports, ad hoc notifications or directors' dealings. Whereas market participants are required to publish major shareholder notifications. The objective of monitoring compliance by listed companies with their disclosure requirements is to ensure that investors have access to essential and adequate information for making an informed assessment of listed companies and their securities. Topic: <laughs> Supervision of investment management. Asset management supervision or investment acts ensures the frictionless operation of those vehicles. Topic. Supervision of banks and financial services providers Banking acts lay down rules for banks which they have to observe when they are being established and when they are carrying on their business. These rules are designed to prevent unwelcome developments that might disrupt the smooth functioning of the banking system. Thus ensuring a strong and efficient banking system. Topic. Authority by country The following is a short listing of regulatory authorities in various jurisdictions. For a more complete listing, please see List of Financial Regulatory Authorities by Country. United States U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC Financial Industry Regulatory Authority FINRA Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC Federal Reserve System Fed Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation FDIC. Office of the Controller of the Currency OCC. National Credit Union Administration NCUA. Office of Thrift Supervision OTS dissolved in 2011 Consumer Financial Protection Bureau CFPB. United Kingdom Bank of England BO. Prudential Regulation Authority PRA. Financial Conduct Authority FCA Financial Services Agency FSA Japan Federal Financial Supervisory Authority Befin Germany Autorité des Marchés Financiers France AMF France Monetary Authority of Singapore MAS Singapore Swiss Financial Market Supervisory Authority FINMA Switzerland People's Republic of China 
China Banking Regulatory Commission (CBRC), China Insurance Regulatory Commission (CIRC), China Securities Regulatory Commission (CSRC), Republic of India, Reserve Bank of India (RBI), Securities and Exchange Board of India (SEBI). Topic: Unique jurisdictions. In most cases, financial regulatory authorities regulate all financial activities. But in some cases, there are specific authorities to regulate each sector of the finance industry, mainly banking, securities, insurance and pensions markets, but in some cases also commodities, futures, forwards, etc. For example, in Australia, the Australian Prudential Regulation Authority supervises banks and insurers, while the Australian Securities and Investments Commission is responsible for enforcing financial services and corporations laws. Sometimes more than one institution regulates and supervises the banking market, normally because, apart from regulatory authorities, central banks also regulate the banking industry. For example, in the USA banking is regulated by a lot of regulators, such as the Federal Reserve System, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, the Office of the Controller of the Currency, the National Credit Union Administration, the Office of Thrift Supervision, as well as regulators at the state level. In the European Union, the European System of Financial Supervision consists of the European Banking Authority (EBA), the European Securities and Markets Authority (ESMA), and the European Insurance and Occupational Pensions Authority. EIOPA, as well as the European Systemic Risk Board. The Eurozone countries are forming a single supervisory mechanism under the European Central Bank as a prelude to banking union. There are also associations of financial regulatory authorities. At the international level, there is the International Organization of Securities Commissions IOSCO, the International Association of Insurance Supervisors, the Basel Committee on Banking Supervision, the Joint Forum, and the Financial Stability Board, where national authorities set standards through consensus-based decision-making processes. The structure of financial regulation has changed significantly in the past two decades, as the legal and geographic boundaries between markets in banking, securities, and insurance have become increasingly blurred and globalized topic <inaudible> regulatory reliance on credit rating agencies think tanks such as the world pensions council wpc have argued that most european governments pushed dogmatically for the adoption of the basel II recommendations adopted in 2005 transposed in european union law through the capital requirements directive crd effective since 2008 in essence they forced european banks and more importantly the european central bank itself eg when gauging the solvency of EU-based financial institutions, to rely more than ever on the standardized assessments of credit risk marketed by two private U.S. agencies Moody's and S&P, thus using public policy and ultimately taxpayers' money to strengthen an anti-competitive duopolistic industry. Topic see also Bank Regulation Finance Financial Repression Global Financial System Group of 30 Insurance Law International Organization of Securities Commissions International Center for Financial Regulation Lebex Refi – European Laboratory on Financial Regulation Macroprudential Regulation Microprudential Regulation Regulatory Capture Regulatory Economics Securities Commission Regulation of Commodity Markets Virtual Currency Law in the United States Topic References Topic Further reading Labonte Mark, 2017. Who Regulates Whom? An Overview of the U.S. Financial Regulatory Framework. Washington, D.C., Congressional Research Service. Reinhardt, Carmen, Rogoff, Rogoff, 2009, This Time is Different, Eight Centuries of Financial Folly, Princeton UPR, ISBN 978-0-691-15264-6 Simpson, D., Meeks, G., Klumps, P., and Andrews, P., 2000. Some cost-benefit issues in financial regulation. London, Financial Services Authority. Topic. External links Securities Lawyers Deskbook from the University of Cincinnati College of Law Anna Carvajal, Jennifer Elliott, IMF Study Points to Gaps in Securities Market Regulation IOSCO, Objectives and Principles of Securities Regulation PDF Date 67 Satan